Ready? It was called the Celestial River. Here lived two very special creatures. There were the Golden Pigs. And the Jade Dragon. The dragon lived in a cave on one side of the river. The Phoenix lived on the other side. They saw each other but never spoke. The phoenix would spread her wings and fly to the stars. The dragon would dive into the icy river. Down, down he would swim to the many colored stones. Sometimes the dragon will listen to the phoenix sound and sometimes the phoenix will look down at the dragon. One day the phoenix and the dragon saw an island rising from the river. How fun it would be to explore if they thought. And this is how they became friends. When they got there, they found a covered in flowers. This was just one of the island's secrets. In a pool, the phoenix found something special. Look how the stone shines. She said, holding it up for the dragon to see. The dragon had not seen a stone like this before. Why don't we make it more beautiful, she said. The dragon held the stone in one of his big claws. Bit by bit, he scratched away its surface. Now I'll use my beak, the phoenix said from her perch in one of the trees. She chipped off tiny, tiny pieces of the stone. Weeks and months went by. The phoenix and the dragon became even better friends. They liked working on the stone together. <laughs> when the stone was smooth and round, they looked for water to wash it. The phoenix gathered dew while the dragon went to the celestial river. Then they polished the stone until it shone. Looks at the phoenix, it's a pro. The dragon and the phoenix were proud of their pro, so they decided to stay on the ice Together, the dragon said, we will guard our pro so it shines forever. The pearl's magic amazed the dragon and the phoenix. Everything became beautiful in its life. The trees grew taller, the flowers never lost their petals. Our pro is brighter than the sun, the phoenix said. Our pro is brighter than the moon, replied the dragon. And they were both right. The pro sh shone even brighter than all the stars in the light sky. A pearl this special cannot stay secret for long. Far away, the goddess Shigalong Moon saw its light. She asked one of her guards. No, the girl replied, Pearl, it is a pearl in the Celestic River. A pearl as fine as this one should be mine, thought the goddess. Xing Wang Mu couldn't stop thinking about the pearl. With each day that passed, she thought only of how it might be hers. Finally, the goddess sent one of her guards to go on stage. Bring me that pearl, the goddess demanded. The guard sailed the Celestial River until he reached the island. There he waited for the dragon and the phoenix to fall asleep. Then the guard slipped past the sleeping friends, lifting the dragon's long white beard. He took the pearl from him. The next morning, the dragon opened one of his red fiery eyes, but no light greeted him. The narrator's pause. Pearl, you've already been stolen. Continue. 
Instead, the dragon and the phoenix found themselves alone. Someone has stolen our pearl, cried the dragon. Quick, said the phoenix, there is no time to lose. We must find it. The friends searching all over the ice, and the dragon dove into the Celestic River. He knocked along the riverbed. The phoenix flew over the trap tops. They both cannot find it anywhere. Don't give up, the dragon told the phoenix. One day we will find our pearl. At her palace, surrounded by peach trees, Shinwang Mu was pleased. I've never seen such a beautiful pearl, she said, and now it's mine. The goddess hid the pearl deep with her place. No one will ever find you in here, she told the pearl. And she closed nine doors behind her. The dragon and the phoenix watched the sky, they never saw its supply. Mm. Then one day, it was Xinguang Lu's birthday party. All the gods and goddesses in heaven came. Xinguang Lu couldn't help but show off in front of her guests. Friends, she said, I must show you something very special. <laughs> one by one, the goddess pulled nine keys from her pocket, and one by one, she unlocked nine doors. The gas crewed in the air. What could it be? They wondered when the last door opened. The light filled the room. You will never see such beauty again, the goddess said, placing the pearl on a golden tree. On the island, the dragon and the phoenix saw, saw the light, too. Look, yelled the phoenix, pointing at the sky. Our pearl is calling us, said the dragon. The dragon and the phoenix were determined to get their pearl back. They flew higher and higher into the clouds. They followed the light all the way to the palace. The dragon and the phoenix landed at Shin Wang Mu's palace and, and ran inside. Give us back our pearl, they shouted. It's mine, cried the angry goddess. She ordered her guards to throw them out. The dragon and the phoenix will not give up. They grabbed for the tree, Xing Wan Wu was very stubborn. She could not let go. Each pulled with all its might. In the confusion, the pearl was thrown from the tree. Shocked, the dragon and the phoenix watched as the pearl began to fall. Oh no, gasped the phoenix. We can't lose it again. The dragon and the phoenix rushed out of the police. They chased after the pearl as they tumbled toward the earth. Faster and faster they flew, but they could not catch it. The pearl fell to the island and changed into shimmering from the lake. Let us stay here and guard the pearl, the king said. Yes, it will be We'll be friends forever. And so the phoenix and the dragon became great mountains beside the lake. To this day, they are still there, keeping the pearl safe. The end.